Welcome to this video on working with tables in Microsoft Excel. So in this video, I'm going to change my data into a table and then show you some really nice bits of functionality to help you interrogate that data and navigate around that data and do different things to that data a lot easier because it's in a table already. So let's get started and let's create a table first and then we can have a look at the options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the data that I want to turn into a table by clicking and holding and dragging. I find that's the easiest way to do it. There are different shortcuts that you can use as well, but I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to go to insert. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and then tables. So I'm just going to click on tables. So I've got pivot table, recommended pivot table and tables. So I'm just going to select tables. And it's just going to double check that I've got the right set of data. So if you didn't select it, then you can go ahead at this point and select if you've missed something, then you can uh, amend it. And you can see there's a little tick box on there about head. My table is, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to leave the tick there. But if your table didn't have headers, then untick that box. So let's click on OK. And this is now switched it into. So I'm just going to get rid of that pop-up box and it's now switched it into a table for me. And you'll notice there, it's already given it that banded sort of row view so that I can now see that information a little bit better. It helps me move my eye across and separate the lines of data. Now, if you've got a ton of data on there, it just makes it much easier to read, which is really nice. So if I click anywhere on this table, You'll notice that in the tabs towards the right hand side, I've now got table design. So it doesn't matter where I click in my table, that tab will pop up. If I've clicked in any other cell, it will disappear. But as soon as I click in my table, you'll see the table design tab. And if I click on that, you've got loads of options. Now, really usefully, let's start at the left hand side and see if there's any options that are are great for us. So I've got a table name, it's called it table one. Now I can use this in bits of functionality and formulas and functions. So you might want to rename it something else. And this will work really well as well if you're using the quick navigation pane. So it'll help you find tables within your Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to call it master data. So if I click away from that now, then this table now has a name to it. So if I just click back on that table design, it's going to pop it up there. So you can see I've got some options as well here in the table style options. So I've got header row, I've got banded rows. I can turn that off if I don't want to, and then it'll just all be the same, but it's really hard to see it. You've even got a banded columns option, so you might want to use that. I've got filter buttons, so if I click away, you'll notice the filters are at the top all the way. So I don't have to go in and add those and they work just the same as normally. So if I click on those, you'll see all the different sorting options, sorting by color. I've even got, because this is a text one, I can use my different text filters. There are different ones. So if I go into the date one, you can see I've got date filters and you've got really nice, simple filters to work with there and all sorts of great stuff. Now, if I do scroll down, I don't have a massive amount of data, but I don't even have to freeze my panes because you'll notice at the top there, the filters stay at the top, which is really, really great. So I can constantly see even if I've got loads of data, they've kind of added them to the top of those columns and they will stay there without me having to use freeze panes or anything else. So nice, simple drop downs that are automatically added. You've got loads of options in there. Your drop downs stay, so your titles stay no matter where you are within the sheet. So really nice and easy to work with. If I go back to the table design, you can see I've got total rows. So if I've got any data and I want to see the total for each column then sometimes it's not relevant if I've got like dates and stuff but I do have one column in my table that does have order amounts in there it's really nice to play around with what you'll notice as well in the bottom right hand corner you can see you've got kind of like a little bit of a let me zoom in to really show you this and scroll down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's like a little backwards L there. And that's just showing you the end of this table. 
Now, what I can do is I can add more information into here and the system will just automatically add it to the table. So if I start typing some information in here, you can see it's formatted it. It's added in that banded rows and it's moved that little image, that little backwards L down. So now this is the bottom of my table without having to change it. So without having to reselect that area, now this new row is part of my table. And that will be the same in rows and columns as well. So it will just help you build it out and you won't have to change that formatting or anything because it will pick it from above, which is great. So if you have to copy and paste a load of data in, you can just drop it in below and it will just pull it together as a table really quickly. And if you have any formulas or anything on there that you just need to update, if you go to table design, you'll see a refresh button and you can just refresh the data if you need to, just to make sure everything is nice and accurate. And that refresh button is really great if you've got any charts that are pulled off from this table as well. So if you've got any pie charts or graphs or anything and you add a new set of data, it will automatically, if you press refresh, it will push that data into those charts as well, which is really, really, really useful. So this just gives you a lot of functionality really quickly and keeps your format in the same and keeps it all together in one place and saves you from having to do those fiddly freeze panes and having to add those filters and things like that. So really, really useful to play around with. And you can really play around with the design as well if you want to. So something I didn't show is the quick styles. So if you're not happy with the way it looks, you can turn everything off and just have it as a basic table but you've still got that functionality behind it. Or you can pick and choose any of the styles or have your own table style with your own branding following anything like that. So really, really great to play around with. And just to finish this off, just have a look at that row I started to build at the bottom. There's actually some functions behind this information. And you can see I typed in Chris into column A. It's added it into column C because there's obviously a bit of functionality there that I've a function that I've put in there, a concat to pull that together. So if I put Chris's surname in, it's just going to automatically do that. Now I didn't have to create that row. I didn't have to pull that function down. Again, it's just another great example of how that information is populated and you can just keep building it and everything will move down really nicely for you. So I definitely have a play around with tables in Excel. See if you can use those and speed up your processes and make your tables and your data look a lot slicker and easier to manage in Microsoft Excel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.